Hello and welcome back. This is Suleiman Qureshi and I'm going to take you through if statements today. Very exciting and of course very useful. So, I will introduce you to the statement very simply and very conveniently and then we are going to write it in Excel. So what is an if statement? Just like a yes or a no question, if the specified condition is true, Excel returns back one user determined value and if it's false, then it returns the other value. Let me make this statement more easy for you. This is the common syntax of an if statement in Excel. If the logical statement is true, do this, which is in green. And if it's false, do that, that is in red. Let me make it more simple for you. If the logical statement is, I eat apple. So if I eat apple statement is true, I will be healthy. And if the I eat statement is false, then definitely I will be sick or not healthy. So that's how it works in Excel as well, just like in simple life. If it is true, one value. If it is false, another one. Let's write an if statement in Excel and see how it works. I have pulled down some data for you to make it easy for you to understand how this statement works. So in Excel, here we have some student names and of course their scores. What we need to know is the result. So to know this result, we have a formula bar, this insert function, that is if, whereby it shows if, logical test, logical value, and of course, what will be the result if false, but we'll not use that. We will first of all, write over here the pass rate because we need to determine it, that what should be the pass rate. So let's make it 40% the pass rate. So if the student is above 40% is equal to if the student score, which should be C3. So edit score, if it is greater than 40%, which is G3, then the result should be pass because she has achieved more than 40%. And if false, which means if it is less than 40%, then the result should be fail. So we'll write here again the result, what it should be if it is less than 40%. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Just press enter and you will see the result. Now we need to make this G3 stagnant and for that we need to press F4 which will create some dollar signs around this G3 which means that when we will drag this formula down G3 function will remain the same place. There you go. So we have results over there but you can see G3 is similar for everyone because everyone is using comparison with G3. 40%. So the result you can see, it's pass or fail with respect to the scores. Let me highlight it to make it more visible for you guys. So I will also highlight the students who have got failed, maybe in red, to make it easy for you. And you can see all of the people who scored less than 40% are appearing as failed. So that was how easily and quickly you can make the if statement usage 
in your excels and get results quickly that was it for today thank you very much and wish you all the very best bye bye